Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Kareem Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me right here, right now. This is Kareem in the morning. Okay, so, hey, I'm here. What's up? What's up? What's up? All right, so uh, before I go, let me just, I haven't been here in a while, so let me see. All right, let me just pull that up. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, uh, let me just go ahead and run this disclaimer. All right, so disclaimer, copyright, you guys read it, get into it. All right, and... This channel and these videos are not meant for children under the age of 13. All right, so what's up? How y'all doing? I'm Kareem Clemens. Welcome to Kareem in the Morning. Now, I'm going to be really, really brief with you guys because I have a couple of things going on right now. Say, first of all, welcome to March. Hey. And then also, you know, a couple of days in to March 2022. February gone on, we're here in March. New things, new beginning. Also, I have a timer going off. So if the timer going off, I probably have to uh, run with the count of one and then basically come back. But uh, I'm here. Let me just go ahead and run this right here for you guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so again, I know I've been going, man. I, let me just pull up for that. I know I've been going, man. It's a lot of stuff going on. I know it's been a lot happening. Yes, first of all, let me just go ahead and say today on this day is International Women's Day 2022, uh, where the International Women's Day is a global holiday celebrated annually on March 8th to commemorate the cultural politician and uh achievements of women so on this day today it is women's day all right next uh look i want to say this man before i go on let me just go real quick we're gonna just put it right up right here right now right here i'm gonna do maddie mob news that's maddie mob that's m-o-b-b -B news you guys look, man. Maddie, Maddie is doing a lot of things. She is doing it, doing it, doing it. There you go. Residual income. Residual income is definitely what it is because, you know, let me just show you guys this picture right here. Madison put this photo out on social media all across the land. And she just looks amazing. I think she was basically uh, doing the independent, uh, the IFC film for uh, Zola. And I know that she uh, did her thing there. She's doing a lot of other things. Turned out she did the big exclusive interview with, uh, with, uh, with Monique. So Madison is just doing a wonderful, wonderful things. I tell you, I mean, she is definitely, definitely working. Uh, also, too, uh, there is a post on her Twitter page, which she has a photo, All Eyes on Pride, a fundraiser hosted by T.S. Madison on March the 24th, 2022. Uh, you guys can get your ticket at the uh, New York City Pride Instagram page. Uh, which I definitely, definitely will leave all this information in the description and the box below. All right. So, yes, Madison is getting her life, man. I tell you, she looks amazing. 22 inches is all definitely, definitely right. She looks amazing, fabulous in her suit. Uh, also, she was picked up with uh, RuPaul for another season as a judge. So you guys can get your life with that as well. But I want to just definitely talk about the uh, the Monique. Now, I know I haven't added my two cents in yet, but I guess this is my time to put my two cents now. I guess I told you guys the disclaimer, the disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. 
You got to roll that other disclaimer too. I definitely got to roll it. Let me see. Let me just roll this one right here too. Warning, the views expressed and opinions expressed on this program is just that, and the views and opinions don't take any serious, but I will warn you, viewer discretion is advised. Okay, along with the disclaimer, and then I'll just go ahead and put me up. All right, so yes. Um, so yes, Madison is definitely, definitely doing her thing. Uh, she's doing the whole turned out, the episode with Monique. Now, I received a lot of emails and people was like, well, when are you going to talk about this? And I'm like, I guess this is the time I can talk about it right here on the platform because it's just my opinion, right? It's my opinion, my opinion only. Okay, so look, I really applaud T.S. Madison for stepping her pussy up, completely up, not only for one reason, but for a couple other reasons. One reason was definitely getting that that um, uh, uh, I guess it was the interview on the day of the anniversary when she was supposed to interview her with her in my neck, my back. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so that's a thumbs up for Natty. Okay, she definitely aced that. And then to bring Monique on there to talk about her problems that she is having, still having, with Tyler Perry, Lee Daniels, and Oprah Winfrey, okay? And I told you guys several times on my platform that, you know, someone recorded uh, Monique in a uh, comedy club where she told Lee Daniels, Oprah Winfrey, and Tyler Perry did suck her if she had one. And then on her podcast with her husband, she said she regretted that. And she should have said, Lee Daniels, Oprah Winfrey, Tyler Perry can suck my uh, and my balls if I had some. Okay? So that's what she said. But wait a minute. Hold on. So I heard. Okay, I heard about this. I heard the interview. Okay, I heard this. I watched Maddie. Okay, I watched Maddie interview Monique. And Monique spoke so heavenly. But I have a couple of questions, honey. I have a couple of questions. My thing is this. I know it's been over 10 years. Okay, and look, I got to get, get Spock Soul. Y'all need to get it together. Not one time y'all got the right title for Monique. Y'all gave her Academy. Y'all gave her. Uh, uh, y'all didn't even give her Oscar. Y'all gave her all other titles but the Oscar. You understand? I'm like, wait a minute. She's an Oscar award. I'm like, okay. But look, she won an Oscar, honey. It was with Precious over 10 years ago. And she did a great job. But ever since then, it's like it's been a bit of downfall. In the conclusion, everybody says she's the black ball. She's been giving us this information about what happened that transpired between everyone. Maddie says she heard the tape. We, the public, have not heard anything. I'm just saying, honey, release it. I'm just saying release the damn tape. I know somebody got a copy. Please release it. Because if, listen, this is the reason why I'm saying release it. Because, look, listen and learn. If you reached out to... Kevin Hart, and he reached out to Tyler Perry. He said, no, 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 Mabel, no, Mabel. Okay? And then he was like, uh, Al Sharpton heard about it. Like, no, 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 no. And then she had her security in that room when that tape was recorded. So there's evidence that witness her security deputy, okay? So, and then Madison says she heard it, and then I guess Kevin Hart heard it, I guess Al Sharpton heard it. So, the public wants to hear this message. I think it's important for us to hear it. Why? Because I think it's the smartest thing to do. The smartest thing to do is to let the public hear about it, because if you... I'm talking about Monique. Monique, if you 
was naming the women at the end of all the women he named and they died heartbroken unhealthy and you know just sad you don't want to be one of those women that's going to die and be sad and be unhealthy and have to have a, le a legacy where there's questions that need to be answered in the form of answering questions, you understand, where we're saying the tape or the message that everybody's hearing instead of, you know, the public you know, that will definitely clear the airway. You don't want to be one of those women dying. Because your legacy was, and you're gone, and your legacy is still here because the tape wasn't released and nobody knows what happened. If Tyler Perry is saying that he don't want to deal with none of this. If it's over, it's over, bitch. Okay, it's over. So just release it so we can hear it. Because if it's so important, then maybe he would get his up, up and would do something by saying, well, you know what? Monique, right. Monique is absolutely right. So look, honey, just release the tape. Release it, release it, release it. That's all I'm saying about that. But no, good job, Maddie for hosting her you get your brownie points she's on the red carpet doing her thing with zola and the, you know the um the uh what i think it's the spirit award i believe it is it's something award okay it's a new kind of award in town that she's getting her life with okay and of course with the ifc all right so i'm just going to go ahead and move on Okay, so again, if you just joining me, welcome to Kareem in the Morning. It is International Women's Day. Now, my next story I want to talk about real quick. I want to talk about this. Look, man, look, listen, and learn. The three L's. Look, listen, and learn, honey. Look, listen, and learn. Look, it is a, a war happening right now in between Russia and Ukraine. My opinion... And my opinion only is that, look, the president of Russia should not have invaded Ukraine. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. The reason why I'm saying it is because you know, even if they're going to lose this tiny old Ukraine, tiny old Ukraine, you, Medea, stop it, Medea. Tiny old Lequain. Okay? Tiny old Lequain. Okay? Uh, I gotta stop watching Medea. I gotta stop watching Medea. Matter of fact, tonight's gonna be a home going. Homecoming. I'm gonna watch that on Netflix. Medea's new special. But tiny old Ukraine. And Russia, you know that you have the power to kill and destroy. Okay? Kill, steal, and destroy. You know you have the power to do that. All right? The problem is, is what is going to happen across the world from the effect of what you're doing. And we are going to feel some of these effects. And now, from some of those effects, uh, the U.S. is banning Russia oil imports as the president warns of course of americans okay so that is my timer i'm just gonna go ahead and do my timer and just throw this real quick if i get the time i might be back uh
Because my glasses are on its way and my eyes are hurting. So um definitely might I definitely definitely do that. Alright, so uh hold on. Alexa. Ten minute timer. Ten minutes, starting now. Oh. Okay. So sorry about that guys. Alright, so yeah, so it's, it's all about what is going to happen on the outskirts of what they're doing to them. Now, again, they know that they can beat them. They know they have weapons that are going to do what they're going to do. But why put them through all this trouble and sacrifice lives, lives, and lives? Okay? Because people's lives are going to change forever seriously in starting with Russia and his pre and the president so now the 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 president warns course to America the gas price uh well let me just go ahead and and, and, and let you guys know what is happening to soon to come all right so they're saying that uh the president announced U.S. will ban all Russia oil imports, toughening the toll on Russia economy and retaliation for its invasion of Ukraine. Okay, and it is just sad because they already froze their assets and they already did things that only these people could like. Oh my God! And I'm talking about the citizens that they are locking up and allegedly no nope, scratch Korean. Okay. All right. So the people that's in Russia, I would really hope that they have a better way to handle what their people are doing because everybody is not on board. And I can tell you that it's a disgrace that their military even thought about attacking these people. Little Ukraine. Okay. And you decide to attack these people for what reason? For what reason? But it's, it, it doesn't matter because it already happened. You can't change all that. It's already happened. It's already going to be in history. 40, 50, 60, 70 years from now, they're going to be like the big the big war that happened that probably will lead to World War Three. Anything. Okay? Because they're still doing it. But hold on. So, uh, their assets was frozen. And not only that, Visa and MasterCard decided to pull out of Russia because they said that it wasn't a decision that they could not make lightly, but they actually did it, okay? So a lot of people are definitely not pleased with what this guy is doing. So we are not either because the actions followed by the president in the U.S., uh, definitely, definitely they're saying that, hold on, let me see, hold on. They say, unlike the U.S., with major oil and gas production, Europe relies on imports of 90% of its gas and 97% of its oil products. And Russia supplies 40% of Europe gas and a quarter of its oil. And the U.S. does not import Russia's national gas. Okay? So gas price has been rising for weeks. I've seen gas price four dollars and something cents. I've seen gas price six dollars and something cents. So they're saying that the price, the gas prices, has rise over the week, and they're saying that inflation is at a forty-year peak, fueled in large parts by gas prices that could hurt the administration heading into November's midterm election. So the rising of the gas price due to conflict and anticipation of potential sanctions on Russia energy sectors 
The average price for a gallon of gasoline in the U.S. hit a record of $4.17 Tuesday, raised by 10% in a, one day and up to $0.55 cents since last week, according to the Auto Club AAA. Uh, if you can recall, in 2021, the U.S. imported roughly 245 million barrels of crude oil and petroleum pro products from Russia, a one-year increase of 24%, according to the U.S. Energy Information Administration. Right? So, definitely, we are going to feel the whole... If we're not even feeling it with the food prices going up and just a lot of things happening, you know, we're slowly coming out of, it's not the recession, honey. It is definitely from, you know, the whole coronavirus and then the marathon and then everything else. So, you know, we're coming out of that. Then they're lifting sanctions up of having mask mandates but look i still wear my mask i have been vaccinated fully with the booster shot and everything so i ask what is it i can get next and she's like well hopefully you know you'll be good and everything is fine that's fine I'm like but make sure you still sanitize make sure you wear your mask make sure you still social distance and because this is something that we should have been doing a long time ago long time ago okay so yes all right so yeah so that's my on there look honey we can't change that man's mind he gonna do what the fuck he do and ukraine is gonna get support regardless because so many people are stepping up and stepping out and showing support for them at all times Everybody, I hope, pray that everybody get out safe because I, I hope people do not stay like this is a Tsunami or this is a hurricane or this is a, a, a blizzard or whatever you want to call it. It is war, bitch. Get the fuck out while you can. Now! Shout out to the Housewives of Atlanta. Uh, I actually was able to stop by the old lady gang in Atlanta, Georgia. And as I arrived, I definitely, definitely see that the place was popping. I mean, seriously popping and bustling. There was a lot of people out there, bitch. There was no way you can step your foot in the door and make reservations. So... Just drove off, went somewhere else, okay? And that next special, where I went, was I took a peek at Modia's house. Modia. That's Mo to the DEA, okay? Medea, she, um, I think, matter of fact, when I watch Medea's special on Netflix, I think that house that I seen when, 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 when I was in Georgia, uh, I, I want to make sure because... That house, and I've seen it, I'm going to make sure that this is the house that this movie was produced in. And if that was the case, I'm like, yes, man, yes, I was there. Okay, I've seen it. All right? So shout out to Medea. Shout out to Tyler Perry. I don't know anything about that um, lie detector test. Capital rioter. But um, I don't know about that lie detector test. Sorry about that. Let me just um, max that. Right, I, I I don't know about I don't know about the um I'm sorry that was that just brought my chain of thought. Okay, yeah. So the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Shout out to them. 
because I know it's a new season and I know it's a lot. I can't believe Marlo Hampton is a housewife and I can't believe they're trying to get rid of my candy. Okay? But no, she got a lot of other things that she's doing. I definitely want to see her special. I want to tune in for that. Shout out to Sheree Winfield and shout out to Nene Leaks. I am here. Oh, no, no. I have arrived, honey. And the spotlight is on me. Okay? As Nene Leaks would say. All right? So, yeah, so shout out to them. I know I've seen a snippet up here, but it is what it is. So, let me just give you guys an update on what's happening with the Omega Studio News and Talk Show T. So, I know you're like, well, you know, it's always been, it's hectic. Sometimes you have to take a break when you are dealing with social media. I don't care how you say it. There is the timer. Just give me one second. So, yeah, actually, the show is over with. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and um, put the there. So, yeah, I was giving you guys the update. So, yeah, so look. Look, anybody who does blogging, citizen journalists, uh, doing just, you know, dealing with social media in general, trends, everything, it is a mind thing. And when you go on vacation and when you try to separate your mind and leave that there and, you know, you need your time, that is the time when you just be like, look, bitch, I've been doing a lot. I've been carrying a lot. I've been saying a lot. Look, it's time for me to chill, woosah, you know, do for me because I ain't getting young. I'm getting older. I'm 40 years old. Okay. I'm 40 years old. I'll be 41 in August. Okay. So, it's a lot. You got to take your time, woo-sa, meditate, and just let all that be. Because, look, all that shit online is online. Leave it be. Okay? I'm just a messenger giving the news to you guys and giving you guys my opinion. All right? So, look, if there's any breaking news, I will be here, right here, right now. So, yeah, look, look let me just say this. So, I know a lot of people have been saying... Or asking about the uh, the session, the session, the session is definitely definitely going to have an episode out in the coming days. I don't know how they're going to do it, but I do know that the Twitter has an episode, and they want a guest, a special guest, to be their host. And I am definitely going to be the host, so I'm going to be icebreaker. So hopefully, we can have some people up there that can discuss or however they want to do it, I'll be there. I will talk with Daquan and I will talk with Al Nicholson to see what we can do. And all information will be posted on the blog page. Shout out to Religious Week TV. Shout out to Nay Love. Shout out to Loving My Hair. Loving My Hair. Shout out to DC Sanders. Shout out to Everybody who is following the Omega Studio News and Talk Show T on YouTube right here, right now. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you guys in the next video. For more information, you guys can listen to the blog page. Have a good one. Bye!